didn't bring my GoPro because I didn't know I was going to ride in Lamborghini this week. <laughs> this is a... You really don't have that much visibility no, <laughs> for no. a clean engine. I this, didn't notice that sitting it in the garage. This is my third Lamborghini and you... There's no view out of the back. Yeah. There's nothing. That's what they're you famous see for. It. There's you see no. the, the top of the little strut bar up there yeah. and the tiny little sliver of windshield. Yeah, you can't see anything out in the back. I'm guessing it uh, has a reverse camera for that. So oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> well, this is my view. Mostly headliner and the... Yeah. So it's almost like a pilot's eye view. Yeah, it doesn't have much. Yeah, actually, it's just, it's just like a top pedal yeah. for the most part. It's about the same view. Actually, the first uh, mid-engine car I've had a ride in. I'm not used to the, the noise coming from that direction. Yeah, well, what, you hear the supercharger whine. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I do like that sound. And it's really too bad the roads are so wet right now. Yeah, we'll go out here to 51 where they're dry. We'll give it one rip. That's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> And that's why people are wondering what they're going to do for the Aventador because even the Aventador was already in production or already pre planned when they bought it. Right. So when they, uh, when they actually get a chance to do what they're going to do, people are really curious about that. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Well, that's just nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that's half throttle. Yeah? Yeah. Definitely used to turbo power. Usually, yeah. I mean, yeah, it a never really lag. snatches you that hard. Just kind of eases into it. But that is pretty instantaneous. Yeah. It's, it'll do zero to 100 in five seconds. Yeah, that's pretty quick. What, I tell you what makes this car so quick is, is this new DCT, DCT transmission. This transmission is the greatest thing. Now, Aldi designed the transmission. Uh, this is the greatest transmission for me. Here. I think it's better than the Porsche PDK. But the, the thing I like about this car is you can drive it if you... I mean, you can, you don't you don't know that it's not a normal stock car just driving oh, yeah. around normal. But then when you want to do something insane, it's ready for that too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it rides pretty nice too. Yeah, it rides. Yeah, it, the Gallardo and I had a Diablo. And it, it, the Diablo rides, rides like a truck. Yeah. It's terrible. But you know. The reason I did this is because Lamborghinis had gotten so docile that the, the, the Diablo, even though a Cadillac will outrun a Diablo now, the Diablo would still scare you. Mm -hmm. the, the Aventador, the Gallardo, the Huracan, they won't scare you when they're stock. Um, so. But this thing, it still has a little bit of the pucker factor. Yeah. Definitely.
Dodge and drove off. Brave man. Of course. Uh, <laughs> I've driven it a lot. Oh, I know it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I've driven this car off in every circumstance. I drove it when we were in Thermal, California. Mm -hmm. I, I took it out on a half mile skid skid plate, and I was and I and I wanted to see how deep I could drive it before I would lose it. It's always good to know the limitations. Yeah. The only time I've pushed this car to the limit was when I had it at the racetrack, where I, I wanted to see exactly how far. And then, well, I did 12 hot laps in it at Thermal, which is a 4.1 mile road course. And then we had uh, Richie Antonucci, who is the, he won the championship for the Huracan STS series this past yeah. year. We, he did three laps in it with me. And, cause, and, we, and we were data logging the car, so we wanted to see what, you know, what all the data was with somebody pushing it as hard as it can be pushed mm -hmm. you know I consider myself a fair track track day driver you know this the, the my skill levels here and his is here yeah and he terrified the shit out of me <laughs> I mean we the first lap he said let me get used to the power first right and, and all he does he's a factory Lamborghini driver yeah right? so all he does is drive Lamborghinis yeah and so first lap he was like oh wow, this thing's pretty quick and then he said, "Are you ready?" And I said, "Yeah, I'm ready." And and that was I. It takes a lot to scare me. I was terrified for two laps. Yeah. I mean, well, it's always scarier from this seat. That's true. It is always scarier for that seat because you don't have any control. Yeah. But like you know, you know, I'm going through the chicanes, right? He's just going over the chicanes. <laughs> so it's like, oh yeah, these, you're supposed to drive on the rumble strip. You're he, supposed to. He, he went, oh, he went, we went airborne. <laughs> Every turn, we were airborne. <laughs> and, and, and he's talking to me. So blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, so blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then, like, the car gets out of shape. He just catches it. You know, he just yeah. catches it like that. Just instinct. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> but the way that he would... Yeah, so, yeah, this thing's really good. Yeah, it's fast. Yeah, it's really fast. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's fast. It's totally calm. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and I'm going, oh, my God. <laughs> and then about, on the second lap, he's like, are you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> my blood pressure is about 300 over 600 right now. So. <laughs> first hurricane they did or was yeah this is the first it was the was world's first supercharged hurricane okay so did they did they already have like did the the intake manifold and everything just work for the hurricane from well, the see, Gallardo, or it... no it's from the uh, you know 
they they first started doing R8s. Right. And the R8 is basically the same engine. Yeah. Um, the only difference between the R8 V10 and this is that this one has an extra set of fuel injectors. Right, because it's direct injected and yeah. port injected. And port injected. And that's the only difference. And they had done, they, do um, you remember the Stasis? You know, yeah. Stasis they did? They were the ones that actually built all the supercharger systems for Stasis. Okay. So, now Stasis is no longer because they imploded internally from a bunch of internal strife. Yeah. But um, they had all that technology there. And then this car, this car, even though they had all that experience with the R8 and the Gallardo, this car took 11 months from for R&D and to, to finish product. Yeah. This car, it was in, I got pictures, they had the entire back end of the car off for months. Um, was it just routing the uh, hoses for the for the supercharger? Yeah, it was all the, and tuning. All that stuff and the tuning. The tuning, the tuning took forever. Oh, okay. We actually, like I said, we actually had to hire a Lamborghini tech to yeah. come and to come and do Mess it. Mess with the computers. Yeah. They probably have a bunch of uh, software that's well, yeah, so this very guy, specific. You know, this guy works for Volkswagen, and so his he was a performance tech. Mm -hmm. And so if they have a, even if it's like with a Golf or if it's with a Bugatti, whatever the problem was, he would come in there. He'd have all the performance graphs, and he mm -hmm. would say. Okay, let me look at the code. He'd go in and look at the code. He'd be like, "Start messing with the maps." Oh, let's change the maps. Yeah, yeah. he changed the map. But there's fifty-five thousand maps, and <laughs> and he would just go, "Oh, I know where that one is." And he would do that. And he'd like, okay, all right. Oh, you want to quicken the shifts? All right, let's go to this map right here. Yeah. I mean, that, it's know, crazy stuff, man. Yeah, crazy. It's not like you know. It's not like.